Good Wednesday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer breaking this noon. Georgia in a gas state of emergency. Gas Buddy reporting nearly 60% of Metro Atlanta gas stations are pumped dry. And that short supply coupled with short tempers leading to violence at the pumps. The shoving match at a gas station panicked drivers who actually exchanged quite a few words. Right now, here's a look at the average gas prices across the state. Gas Buddy reporting a gallon of gas in Atlanta going for about two bucks, 91 cents. Savannah at 282, Augusta 284. And last week, the average price of gas was just about 266. Our Rebecca Schramm has been speaking with drivers all morning. And Rebecca, most people just don't care about the price. They want to get somewhere where they can find the gas. Yeah, you've got that right, Karen. I, at the moment, I'm at the QT on Howell Mill Road, and I want to show you because right now they have regular unleaded. So look at this. They've got a line forming again uh, as people wait their turn. Well, every now and then you heard that a little horn honking as people get impatient. Elsewhere, things are starting to get kind of ugly. Don't touch me, man. Tempers flare up and down the East Coast as drivers get desperate to fill up their gas tanks. Here in Atlanta, it looked like, you know, there might be a shootout to try to get gas. Tom Mutz pulled up at this QT on Howell Mill Road right as a fuel tanker truck pulled up. Once the tanks were full and the pumps were flowing, tanker truck driver Wesley Green was the most popular guy in town. I bet everybody is so happy to see you. Yeah, they sure are. So I'm sure he's a Pied Piper uh, moving around town. Mutz works for a heating and air company. He tells me the fuel supply crunch is causing them to have to scale back to emergency calls only. Some guys can get out, some guys can't. Some have diesel vehicles, so they were able to find diesel fuel a lot easier. So those trucks are able to run. All the QTs are like packed. And even the um, BP right down the street, it's like all the way around the corner. Alex Henderson was relieved to pull up right after Wesley Green, the Pied Piper, dropped off that load of regular unleaded. Yeah, I just do my part, do what I can and try to help. We even have guys from out of town coming down here to help us get loaded. Yeah, those out-of-state tanker trucks coming in will no doubt help. The White House is briefing reporters right now on when the pipeline might be flowing again. We're going to have updates for you on that throughout the day. Live in Northwest Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. All right, so thanks, Rebecca. We want to make it easy.